Hi everyone and welcome to FXDD webinar. Today we have advanced price action trading system. So before we start, as always, have in mind that foreign exchange trading carries a high level of risk that is not suitable for all investors. Before you start trading Forex, please educate yourselves on the risks associated with Forex trading. Everything you see and hear from me is my personal opinion only. On these web addresses, you can sign up for more live education and trading webinars. So hurry up, reserve your spot, and of course, join our live trading, live education, and live analysis community. Today's agenda is what is price action, uh, trend and momentum explained, and of course, emotions with this price action trading method. I will show you live on the chart, so stay tuned. What is price action trading? Just a quick introduction. If you already know it, great. If not, then it's good to remind you once more. It's a trading based on the price reading. Price action is a technical and chart pattern analysis, and uh, it attempts to find order in chaotic markets. Swings, highs and lows, retests to support resistance, triangles, patterns, wedges, Fibonacci retracements are all part of price action. On the contrary, there are also, uh, to many opinions, there are also some price action indicators that simulate price action in a great way. And uh, one of those is, let's say, Bollinger Bands that we will also use in this price action trading system. Candlesticks and price bars are also important part of price action trading because they help us visualize price movement. Candlestick patterns such as Harami, engulfing pattern, crosses, pin bar are all examples of visually interpreted, interpreted price action. So basically, price action is everything that a price does, and just like every other face it or, or analysis, it's purely subjective. Uh, for this advanced price action trading system, we need to incorporate following indicators. Bollinger Bands, SMA 200, SMA 100, SMA 50, stochastics, and candlestick patterns. So Bollinger Bands are set on different time period. That is what I will explain. And we don't use EMA, only SMAs. So this is how it looks on the screen, guys. So this is uh, the template. It's called APA, APA, Advanced Price Action. And if you go to indicators list, you will actually see these indicators. OK. so. We will use just a standard set of indicators that you all have. OK, we will remove something that is not needed. So moving average 200 simple. I put it uh, as the red color. Then we have a uh, hundred simple. It's a blue color. Then 50, it's lime green. You can also make it your own color. But I think uh, this is also pretty much uh, very, very clear. And the colors are, are OK. To me, uh, I like, uh, the, uh, for example, a green, blue, and red. That is what I really like. And then we have Bollinger Bands. Uh, we have Bands period of 100, OK, and Bands deviations set to 2. Also, guys, this is a Bands indicator that doesn't have the middle line. We don't use the middle Bollinger Band line in this system. So it's just. Uh, Bollinger Band without the middle band. And next set of Bollinger is set of 200 with 2.0 deviations. Okay, then we have relative strength index that is set on 6, and it's only shown in, I will uh, tell you, weekly and daily time frame. So you need to put it like this, daily and weekly time frame. And stochastic oscillator set on 14, 3, 7. Price field is low, high, and MA method used for stochastic calculation is simple. Okay, so this is how it looks. And now, before we start trading, let's say we open the chart. We will uh, use this method on four-hour time frame. But before we actually start uh, trading, we need to determine the trend. For that, guys, we need to go to weekly time frame. Okay, and on weekly time frame. We also need to see uh, the, the relative uh, strength indicator position, OK, uh, compared to uh, moving averages and swings. We will also add 
we need to add one more thing to relative strength index that is level 50 okay that is important so on this uh, chart on weekly time frame we see that the price is above 50 rsi it means that the trend is bullish okay then on the chart price is above all three moving averages that also tell us that the price is strongly bullish alignment of moving averages in this system is not important because this system is not indicator based we just use these uh, moving averages and bollinger bands and few more indicators just to tell us the general picture of the market we don't use it as a signal that is what i will explain so here it's obvious that the trend is bullish then if we found the trend on weekly we don't need to go to daily we go directly to four hour if we cannot find the trend on weekly then we go to daily and if we cannot find the trend on daily then we skip the pair and we actually trade another pair that is important so because we found the trend on weekly okay also guys you see this stochastics are actually crossing 20 from uh, basically below so it gives us the, uh, the the cue that also the price is going to go up above 50 bullish above 20 bullish okay just cross 20 and above moving average so clear trend is clearly bullish now this is guys where it becomes interesting uh the price should not be close to the bollinger bands it's very important so forget about bollinger bands if the price is close to bollinger band you don't trade you when you wait for retracement the price has already retraced back to this uh, 100 sma you see and it gave us the entry here so this was our first entry the entry is when the price hits one of the important support uh, price tools such as uh, smas or bollinger bands uh, and stochastic is crossing uh, around 20 or below 20 from below that is our entry you don't need to uh, uh, watch for other things you either go with stochastics or with candlestick patterns in this example we see that the stochastic has crossed 20 from below and we are ready to buy so this was our buy entry also guys we have a form of uh, pin bar here so this was a clear entry to the upside so this was our entry here then we saw potential entry down but you see the stochastic are not close to 20 so we skip the entry so if we had entered here we would have made uh we would actually place our stop loss below this last low so it's around 9500 pips you always add five pips five to ten pips below the last low include and always include the spread into your stop loss so our stop loss would have been placed somewhere here okay uh the low of this candle was uh, 39 uh, 3209 so let's say uh 3192 so 3198 this is okay yeah this is okay and this was our entry now regarding targets uh our first target is uh bollinger band line our second target is the top of the bollinger band uh so this is very very good example of trend based entry once more you start from weekly time frame if you have the trend on weekly time frame you actually don't move to daily because you have a weekly trend then you go to four hour because it's uptrend you wait for the price to drop the price needs to drop to either any of these smas or bollinger bands and stochastic needs to be below 20. then if you see that the price is rejecting from one of the smas or bollinger bands and the stochastic is crossing 20 you make an entry so this is your entry and you can also make an entry by using candlestick patterns this is like a pin bar and this is a good entry to the upside okay so this is one example of a good 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 entry now let's for example find uh, let's say gbpn weekly weekly trend okay uh, it's at 50 so we don't have any weekly trend uh, the australian dollar weekly below 50 so obviously this is downtrend price below three moving averages clear downtrend we move to four hour time frame guys four hour time frame yeah you see the how sometimes uh, it's so good that uh, traders who actually want to trade the system might find it like uh, they need to scan the charts each four hour but sometimes the entries can be very very good for example this was a good entry here you see crossing 
of moving averages and i would actually go with this entry stochastics are already above uh, 80 and this is a very very strong signal it's a form of uh let's say it's in between shooting star and a potential dark cloud cover but it's clearly bearish bearish pin bar rejection so this is your entry and this can also be your entry here because the price was very close to 80 and it's rejecting from uh bollinger band this is dark cloud also you see how good this entry was so this is very 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 nice entry this could also be this could have been an entry here price uh you see price actually uh, touching the sma and rejecting so nice 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 uh rejections so uh, once more how we got it weekly trend price below three moving averages clearly clearly bearish uh rsi is below 50 clearly bearish stochastic also pointing down this is like a no-brainer guys here uh four hour time frame bang the price price dropping from sma this is candlestick entry stochastic entry this is also candlestick entry here we can find more examples let's say for example uh dollar swissy yeah you see dollar swissy oh this is downtrend yeah below 50 downtrend stochastics trying to point down but the price is above three moving averages so we don't have the trend on weekly do we have the trend on daily let's see price at moving averages nothing euro yen weekly below okay a price at 50 this is now discussable let's see the daily price below price at so this is trying to go down this market obviously but it's not very very clear clear euro swissy weekly in between moving averages nothing swiss yen below moving averages but you see actually the price now is here but uh yeah we don't have anything here euro cad nothing we, we can scan all these pairs guys okay this is bullish market price above uh, rsi above 50 price above uh, three moving averages the trend is clearly to the upside we go to four hour time frame four hour time frame yeah this is the first entry here okay based on okay this is piercing line pattern stochastic entry so you have two entries here and you see what happened sometimes guys you see the price will not actually reach these bollinger bands so you might actually want to close it uh before you see i mean it's like close to bollinger band so it's only 15 pips so if you see the price is struggling it's always best to close it because obviously from this spot the price could have made like 100 pips so it's okay so yeah you see it's you can actually wait and now we have a potential entry again to the upside on euro or the four hour time frame obviously this is uh trying to be a bullish candle like it's it's it, if it if it was like a little bit higher and the pin bar and the pin a little bit lower this would be a piercing line but this is also rejection hammer and stochastics are close to 20 so this actually could go up now from this spot obviously it looks like it could go up especially because weekly is still above 50 on rsi so yeah you see potential entry here uh on uh euro australian dollar to the long side it looks like it could go up uh okay gbp swissy uh, let's see weekly nothing do we have something on daily yeah nothing on daily uh australian dollar cat weekly below price above 50 let's see the daily the daily nothing yeah so you scan weekly and daily time frames new zealand dollar price in between moving averages daily price above uh, okay uh, this is an uptrend guys you on daily you see price is above three moving averages it's rejecting now but it's okay because we, you can have four hour entry and price uh, and rsi above 50 so you move on to four hour time frame and this is it guys the entry is already happening obviously obviously at this spot is an entry you see it's already happening so i guess that you now understand the logic of this advanced price action trading system uh if anything is not clear guys uh, feel free to ask you can leave uh comments uh, below the video i will uh, show you once more the indicators uh, you see moving average 200 simple then we have another one 100 simple moving average then we have 50 simple moving average bands with uh, so these are bollinger bands without the middle line guys okay 
So it's a hundred uh, bands period and bands deviations is two. Uh, another uh, Bollinger band is 200 also with band deviations at two relative strength index that has all these levels you just can leave actually uh, at 50 because other levels are not important I only use 50 for this and stochastic is four in three seven so this is basically it uh, so, uh, uh, on weekly time frame and on daily time frame you can only see RSI you don't uh, need anything else so stochastic is only shown i mean you can use just for a queue it's not it's not a problem but it's the it's always the best that relative strength index and price is in confluence rsi above 50 for bullish trend rsi below 50 for bearish trend price above three moving averages for bullish below uh, moving average for bearish trend and you see rsi is weekly uh, only seen on weekly and daily time frame one more thing guys uh uh, regarding targets uh it's important that uh you know under, you can place pivot points it's okay okay you can place pivot, pivot points but also it's good that you actually uh target all these uh let's say uh bollinger band so if you go along your final target should be either this band or or this band or something in between you don't need to be for go for a specific level. If you want to go for something more specific, you can place your favorite pivot point indicator. Also for uh, placing stop losses, stop loss always goes, uh, uh, let's say 10 pips or seven pips plus the spread of the pair before the last swing low for up uh, move for long trades or above last swing high for short trades. So seven pips plus the spread because you are trading on four hour time frame seven pips plus the spread it's important guys that you understand that uh okay uh, i don't see any questions here so i guess that everything is clear uh the template is simple uh you can actually use all of these indicators that i showed uh you can use if you don't have this indicator that shows bands without the middle band you can use bollinger band uh, but just uh, don't look at this middle, band, uh, middle line of the Bollinger Band because those are not important for the system. Thank you guys for listening. Uh, as I said, this webinar is being recorded. It will be uploaded to FXDD uh, YouTube channel. Any comments, any suggestions, any questions, feel free to ask. I'm there to answer. Thank you. As always, guys, cheers and trade safe.